So you're probably thinking, who's that poor guy, right? Well, that's me, myocyanophage. I'm a virus that only infects a specific type of bacteria, cyanobacteria like Prochlorococcus and Synecococcus. But I did not commit this crime. This is the story about how a group of amazing scientists saved my life. All rise for the honorable judge, ubiquitous Pelagibacter. Quiet in the courtroom. I want a quick, fair trial. Attorneys, start your openings. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my name is Miss Fermicutes, representing the Pacific Ocean Realm. We have strong DNA evidence and an eyewitness account that tied the defendant, Mr. Cyanophage, to the crime. The evidence will show a clear case of murder. My name is Mr. Bacteria Dedes. While bacteria are killed by viruses in the ocean every second, I know that my client, Mr. Cyanophage over there, did not kill the victim. We will provide an expert account proving why. I'm going to fast forward through most of the prosecution and just show you the highlight. It was him! I saw him kill Mr. Prochlorogogus. I was just floating around the Monterey Bay right off the coast of California when I heard a loud scream. Poor Mr. Prochlorococcus. It was not me, I swear. Mr. Potophage, aren't phages asexual? Could you perhaps have seen a clone of Mr. Cyanophage? Well, yes. Quiet! Before you make up your minds, let's hear from the defense. Ms. Rosiophage, please tell us about yourself and your research. I study marine viruses and their interactions with bacterial hosts. In my lab, we developed a new method called viral tagging. Bacteria and viruses are asexual, meaning that they reproduce clonally, as you can see here. We grow up these clones into cultures, each called strains. In this method, we dye the DNA of the cultured viruses with a stain called cyber green, which causes the viruses to shine bright or fluoresce. The viruses were added to a bacterial strain. The mixture was sorted on a machine called a flow cytometer, which sorts cells based on size and fluorescence. When viruses infect bacteria, two populations form, like you can see on the graph. The top population has a higher fluorescence due to being infected by the stained viruses. This is the tagged population. This method works really well with cyanobacteria. We tested Mr. Cyanophage's clones against Mr. Prochlorococcus's clones and found no tagged population. We also took non-culturable viruses from around the area of the crime and repeated the viral tagging experiment. And then sequence the DNA of these tagged viruses. We did not find Mr. Cyanophage's clones in the tagged population. Jury members, you have now heard the prosecution and the defense. It is up to you now to deliberate. Jury, how do you find? Not guilty. Yes! I hope that someone finds out who murdered poor Mr. Prochlorococcus. You'll have to go explore.